also. Go on, go on, Betty. <laughs> Be very strong. This tear should come out from her, for Krishna. Oops, sorry. I told you there was another four hundred dollars my brother sent me. I forgot to bring to you when it came. This was kind of expensive. So you could keep her. He had given her your son. Dear Dave, whenever I talk to my brother, I always want to tell him something about Bhakti, but before he got so angry, he said, I never know what to say to him. I don't. Automatically, there will be some relation and some uh, devotion will go. Mm -hmm. This time, he gave me forty dollars of his own money. He never forty dollar. Yeah, he gave me <laughs> never before. Oh, very good. Be happy and satisfied. You are his sister. Uh, I wanted to go there from. Uh, I'm making so happy, happy, happy. But <laughs> you're speaking so much. I hope you're going to be tired. Don't do like that. Oh, okay. No? No, no. no. Not you. To her, her, her. Okay. This. Uh, you can wear no. ornament, no her. No her. But not like this. Not like this? Not like hippies. Not like hippies. <laughs> no. Okay. Like this. Like this. What did you do? <laughs>
We have completed Dehuti Kapil Sambhat, Nard Upakhan, Puranjan Upakhan, Bhat Maharaju, Ajami, Pritashu, all there. I wanted to tell about something about Prahlad Maharaj. Uh, but I also want to tell, uh, to speak on the 10th kind of Srimad Bhagavat. But it is basic, like a platform. So, what, are the, what is the essence of Prahlad Maharaj? And what is the essence of the uh, uh, of teachings of uh, Ambarish Maharaj. Very quickly we will do and then we will proceed to our Srimad Bhagavatam. Prahlad Maharaj in that Yudhisri Maharaj asked some questions. So, Nardarishi, that Supreme Personality of God is Krishna. He has no enemy, he has no friend. He is equal to all. But we see sometimes that he takes uh, part of devotees and he fights and kills all the demons. Why he does it? 
five. Then he told that a mother never becomes any party of his four sons. He loves equal, but according to their health or their activities, sometimes she chastises one, not giving so delicious <coughs> food to them. Sometimes uh, uh, loving so much. So in, but he has the same love and affection for his child. So, Krishna is like that. Like son, if anyone come in front of son, not covered, then he will test his raises. And there will be light. But anyone sitting in the room, no, nothing to see sun, then there will be darkness. So this is not a... Yeah. Ex party, partiality. There is no partiality. If he will come out of room, he, will, he can see sun and his hotness and everything. Anyone coming to Krishna with six ways, calm means lust, bhaya, fear, also dvesh, envious, sneha, And, uh, and and we are no uh, he is telling kama deshat bhayat snehat I come thinking that I am himself hmm, and bhaktya there are six things. Tasmat Bairan Bandhena Nir Bairena Hayenava, Snehat, Kamin, Vajun Jat Kachan, Nirvichate Pritha. Kamat, Vesat, Vayat, Snehat, Jatha, Bhaktaresh, Vahemana, Avesh, Tadam, Hitva, Bavas, Tadvati. Gopya, Kamat, Kams, Advayo, Kamso, Chaitjad, Ro, Nibasam, Mandhat, Vishnu, Sneham, Yujam, Bhakta. Anyone which comes to Krishna and he is observed in Krishna. Kamat. Kamat means lust. Veshat. Indian. Bhaya. Fear. Sneha. Eh? Affection. And Bhaktya. Avishya. Avishya means being totally observed. Bhavas tadam gatim gatam. So many persons, devotees and non-devotees, they have got liberation and so many gatis. He is telling gopya kama by lust gopis. I think there is no proper word lust. Only calm is okay. Like gopis, mood of gopis. Bhayat Kansu, always comes fearing from Krishna, from birth of Krishna. Before that, when he heard the sky, then I will see it up. Oh, thinking always Krishna, 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 he will kill me, he will kill me. Today he will kill me. I should kill him, I should kill him. Where he is? Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? 
totally observed. So concept. Desat Chaidyado. Chaidya. Chaidmani Sisupao. And others like his brother. Dantabakra. And so many. So they were fighting with Krishna. They wanted to kill Krishna. But always observed in Krishna. Shambandhat Vishnya. Vishnya means Vasudeva Devaki and all others. Akrur. Mm, Uddha and all. By Sambandhat, by relation, that Krishna is my father, Krishna is my husband, Krishna is my son, Krishna is my friend, Krishna is my son, daughter, in, uh, son in law, uh, like this, all Sambandhat. And Snehat Jujam, Snehat Jujam, Sneh, affection for Pandavas, you, Nadi tell me. He has a very good relation with you. He has become your brother-in-law, Arjun. He has, Krishna has given his sister. He is the son of uh, Arjun is and Pandvaja son of Kunti. And where Kans is son of Vasudev, Krishna. And Vasudev and Kunti were brother and sister. So these are Shambhanda. And Vayam, Vayam means Narada Chaitanya. Vayam, not only one. So many bhakti. By bhakti we have. But by Bhaya Dvesh, uh, is very powerful. Very quickly. Kansa and Sisupal and others. Yeah. They get their mind towards Krishna very easily. That Krishna will ki kill me. So by this liberation, very quickly, very quickly. But to serve Krishna like gopis, Vishnaya, and bhaktas like Narad, or it is not so easy. But uh, we should not do all these three. Uh, like Vesh, Bhai, and all other things. They are not working. So Krishna used to kill demons and to give this, distribute all these things. So anyhow, if anyone having salvation and all liberation and all these things, by uh, thinking enemy even, by fear, they got so much high thing that yogi could not have this thing. So if anyone having so much love like gopis to Krishna, thinking that he is worldly person, I am worldly, no harm. He will have more and more things from Krishna. So Krishna, it, from outwardly it is seen that Krishna is cutting the head of Sisupal, killing his father-in-law, Mama, Kansa, and killing so many, but he is not killing. He is taking only garments that was wrong and very dirty and rotten, and gives them very beautiful body and, and engages in his service. But we are outwardly we cannot kill, but inwardly that is. So, Krishna is never partial to anyone, he is equal to all, but devotees are nearer, serving him, so he is remained. If anyone may be removed to Krishna, opposes that Krishna will kill, and then by a transcendental body, he will engage in him, anyhow. Then, Second thing is that Krishna ke se Yes. Anyone who is in this uh, dvesh and all It seemed that Sheshupal has taken Sai Jimukti in Krishna him interest. But not like that. What we think the 
Morsaf uh, Said and all other things. It is, it will not come in our this mind. So, then, Hirnakasubu, uh, his brother was killed by Barahdi. And his body was brought to Alice and all there he gave. He used to know all the principles of Vedas. He, knew, he also knew that Atma is Amar, immortal. immortal. Yeah. But he was not uh, following all these things. But he knew. There must be one supreme personality of God. He knew. And he knew that Vishnu is that person and he used to quarrel. So he wanted to kill Vishnu. So when his brother was dead and killed by Varadi, then all the everything, his mother, wives, children, so many children, very big, big demons they were. All their weeping for, for their father. Then he told a past history that there was a king whose name was Sujatra. And he was the emperor. And he has some arrival. Uh, and he wanted to smash him. But in the battle he was defeated and, and killed. His hands was separated from the body. The feet also separated. But anyhow, the whole body was taken to palace. And all that he did. They covered the, that body with a white cloth and thus all that he did. There was none to <coughs> pacify them. In the meantime, a boy came. Of age of little five years, he was about quite naked. He told that, why you are weeping? Oh, you are boy, you should go and play. But he told, I want to know why all you are all weeping. They told that the father of this person, of this person has, he has, he is killed and he has been killed. That is why we are weeping. In India we can tell that uh, he has left. Anywhere he has gone. He told that I am saying that he has never gone anywhere. He is still sleeping here. Why you are not talking to me? You thought that um, he is my father, he is my husband, he is my son. So why you are not talking? They told that no, now he is not in this body. He has left. Oh, I used to think that this body was your father, your husband, your son, and everything. But you are not waiting for this body. Um, you are waiting for anything else. That only, yes, his soul has gone away. Have you ever seen? Never, you have not seen. Then why weeping? Lakhs and lakhs person daily, they used to die. But why you are waiting for this body? How he was old, how in length he was, long or tall, how he was fat or very lean and thinner. Can you tell? No, I, we have never seen him. But then, when you have not seen him and you are all weeping, why weeping? 
must know that the body is not so. He will not return. He will never return. If what we speak of you, you are hundred and thousand. But if whole world come assembled and all will be, will he come? He will never come. Jadgatva from there anyone never comes where he has gone. Don't be. After that he told that. I'm telling him one story that there were two birds, wife and husband. One day they went to forest but to pick up something for their children. And they were sitting on the branch of any very beautiful tree. And from there, they saw some rice grain there. Very beautiful, like pearls. The wife told, <coughs> I want to go and to pick up. Husband told, don't go. There is some conspiracy. There is some hunter. And he will anyhow strictly catch you. So don't go. She told, oh, you male persons always see like this. I will go. And telling so, <coughs> she quickly went there and began to pick up. And by this light, oh, come on, come on, you show how. And the in time, the hunter was there. He was very black and tall and very vivacious body. He pulled the chain of the trap. And she at once came in his trap. And then he began to weep bitterly. Then. Also his husband came and began to weep. I cannot support my children. I wanted to be in this trap and you come off, come out of this. But it cannot be. And he was also bitterly weeping. And in the meantime, the hunter took his bow and arrow, uh, arrow and bow and hunted and it can. The heart and at once he fell flat on the earth. Blood was coming. And then he became happy and doing like that and laughing and he came. And he picked up both. And then he tightened and he took here and he went to home and in the fire he, he did anything frosted. And then easily with two hands. Very beautiful, very tasteful. So all are with the same. One day but thinking that I will not die. I am so happy by drugs, wines, and three doubles. So, I am so happy. I will be up to that time like this, eating, drinking, and making merry. But one day you will have to be too old, and you'll have to test your all bad activities. Everyone. So, we are telling you that we should be ready. If my wife, my husband or anything has been dead, then we should be ready. Not so much weeping. Always telling, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Body is not so, we are not related to this body, we are related to somehow in show that all are mm, yeah, mm, part and parcel of God and all are eternal servant of Krishna, so we have something. Don't miss this thing. Always think like this. If any devotee has been weak, and anyhow, he is weak to give up his um, no, no, Gurudev. 
，誒呢球喺數就 game 咁。你 are requesting very eagerly or that they should again return and such that Guru Dev and thus be happy forever. So this is one one teaching of Pranam. Second, his father told, "What you have learned in his school?" He told that this world is like a well, and anyone was going to forest for part to have some honey to test, and killing uh, so many animals like deer, very innocent deer, or anything. Forest means. But in the way, he saw a tiger running after him, roaring so well. There are so big, big trees, so fat, fat. He could not climb, and he wanted to escape anyhow. But there was no way. Now he was thinking that, oh, I have done so many wrong things. That is why this tiger is coming. And then he feared so much, and he saw that there was a dry well, and there were so many grasses and a little trees, branches, small trees, and thus it was covered with the leaves and branches of these trees. So they. Root was up, upside, and the branches like this. The root of this world is there, and everything is lower down. And he quickly catch hold of two branches, and he began to. And he looked, uh, and he saw that oh, there are so many poisonous black. Serpents or snakes, and they are hissing, hissing, like that. Oh, hush, hush, hush! And he becomes more clear. If I am going up, tiger is there. If I am going down, then snake, and at once I will die. So he was, but how much time he will catch hold? This will be. And in the meantime, two rats <coughs> came out from the well, any hole. One black, black, black and other, <coughs> and began to cut. Quickly, quickly, in a moment they will. And there is none. They are two. What to do? What to do? What to do? In the meantime, he saw. Oh, I was going in the forest to take madhu, and madhu is here. Madhu means honey. Honey is there, and some honey from the sapkan. Hi, by drop, one, two, like golden and very sweet. And he saw he could not take his tan, and he did like this, keeping the branches in hands. Rats are cutting, and uh, snakes are, and tiger is roaring. Everywhere, up, down, side, by this side, everywhere death is. Death is only ready. And in the meantime, he took this. Oh, how beautiful! How best! How sweet! What is this? <coughs> to love the love of children, wife, husband, each other. All these are like madhu, all drop, drop, drop. And all these are fears are there. But it is very fear that if the branches are like done like this, then all bees will come and. And I also die. So mother will be, honey will be also 
the reason of his life. Everywhere. So keeping this, leaving all these things, if anyone, anyhow, maintaining his life, anyhow, and always chanting, remembering Krishna, in the association of bona fide Guru and Vaishnava. And he is happy. Tiger will go. A very. Uh, what is this rest? Day and night. What are they are doing? They are cutting the tree. What is tree? Or past bad and good actions. Our age. They are cutting. What is your age? My age is 84. Oh, oh! You have passed your 84. Now, how many years are there remaining? Only two or three or one day. We don't. So don't be so happy and that oh, proud of your age that I have become of hundred years. Hundred have years having passed uselessly. You will have to suffer for your each action in your dream, knowingly, not knowingly, what you have done, you will have to take a reaction. Meat means M E A T. M E me E A T. It me eat to whom I am now eating. They must eat being tiger, snakes, or anything place that is they will maybe cows, they may be deers, hawks, pigs, hens, and they will take it. Give up, try to give up all these things. Krishna has made so many things to eat. Why eating all these things? Hmm? You can drink milk. Why alcohol and all other things? Yes, it's not going to Try to remember. So if anyone doing like so, at once, uh, rain may come, and some pieces of hell, hell will come, and tiger will go away. The rats will go away easily. And then he we can come out of the well and he can easily be saved. So we should try to do He is telling to his father, hearing, hearing this, his father becomes so angry and he throw out him from his life and began to escape him. But he could not do anything. Their master Sandamar advised him to return this boy to Gurukul and we will teach him. In the meantime, our father, Shukrachat, will come. He is very powerful. And thus this boy, this boy can be saved. He will not be devoted. He told Hiranyakaspur, any devotee should not come in or that area where my boy is there. They have done this. Then again he came to school and he read for some time. And again his father asked, what you have read and what you have selected good and what your Gurudev has told. Then he told, what? Shavadam, Kritanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Padashivan, Archanam, Bandanam, Darshan, Sakham, Atmanivedan. Iti Pita Vishnu Che Navalakana Bhavati create Manitan Manyadhi Mukma. Sometimes being a devotee, coming out of the association, we think that Bodhism is so very easy. So easy. Then we see Tejar, oh, oh Am Brahmashmi, I am saying. Why should I serve Krishna? I am himself Krishna or Supreme Personality. These bad things come in heart. 
Sometimes we see that. Oh, this would be Sahajiya Babaji. Or Guru Devi is so, Swamiji was so strict. And he told that strict word, don't meet with Radha Kunda Babaji. Or Vindavan or Innavati. They think how to you know, test worldly desires. And they, being a male form, they hide their appearance and becomes like ladies and mixing with other ladies and doing all this nonsense. So sometimes we are uh, misguided and go and to be become a Babaji or like that. But we have seen that so many have done and they have gone to all to hell. So we should not be misguided. We should try to follow our Guru Dev. Our Guru Parampara is so bona fide. Swamiji has, is not first Guru. And he has not first established Krishna consciousness first. He is not first Guru. Our first Guru is Krishna. From there, Brahma, Narad, Vyas, Sukadeva Goswami, Madhvachar, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Sarukdamoda, Raya Ramananda, and thus coming Rupa Sanatan, Krishna Das Kadirat Goswami, Narottam Thakur, and thus coming Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, Baladeva Vidya Bhushan Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Jagannath Das Babaj Maharaj Bhakti Vinod Thakur, and then Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhaan Saswati, and then here. So don't think him. Don't cut his relation to our Guru Parampara. He has no, nothing given new. Oh, bottle is now, surely. But the, <laughs> the teachings are same. Same thing. And they never become old. Never. New, 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 new. Always new. So, we should have a belief in this. First there was Vaishnava Raja Sabha in the time of before that, Madhvendra Puri Bhak, Puri. Before that, Subhadeva Goswami Hirnsha. Before that, Das Dev. Before that, Nara. Before that, Brahma. So this is coming from there. So we should not cut, try to cut the links of all these things. So this mercy is coming from where? This Bhagavatam is coming from where? From there, from Krishna origin. And Radha and Krishna, or same Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we have firm belief, very strong belief in our parampara and our in this teaching that in this world, if anyone wants to be happy forever, they should follow this. Very easy. If you are not doing anything, not chanting, oh, you saw any vigraha, she Radha Krishna Mahaprabhu, I'm easy. Of Mali Pranam. Mali saying that I am yours, Krishna. Mali hearing Katha. Hmm? There is nothing, um, no matter if you have no money. Nothing. So you can do this very easily. If you are Muslim, then you are bound to, to sit and stand and to. And then you will. What? <laughs> <laughs> by toilet, by doing it and by this exercise one will huh? get sick. So and we can do only if you not do, oh no harm. Oh Krishna Aapke is Pranam. Only this we do. Have a relation with Krishna. And then automatically we will begin to chant more and more and more like Haridas Thakur. So don't fear. So Prahlad Maharaj is saying, hearing this, his father becomes so angry and he ordered Hoji, all army, uh, Senapati, commander, and just now you should kill this boy. We are so high family and in our high family, this wicked boy has come. He is not drinking. 
He is not taking cigarettes. Why we say? Very strange thing. We try that he should take wine, but he never take. We have uh, bonded him to take place eggs, but he never taking. He does not know sham dam dand bhed. What? Sham dam? Politics, duplicity, telling lie. A king or a son of king be like that. Telling always lie. He should not speak true. And he should be duplicate. <laughs> and like all this. But this why so wicked? Not doing anything. So why he came in my dynasty? So you should kill him. Try, try, try hard. Snakes were given to him. Poison was given to him. Mad elephant wanted to crush, but when he smelled even coming nearer, and he began to what? Compensing Com and he ran away. He was given to see very deep ocean, but Krishna said. He was thrown from mountain, but Krishna. His sister was used. He had the benediction not to be burnt in fire, but she burnt and Prahlad was destroyed. Then he became so upset. And he wanted to kill, but he could not. And then, one day his teacher went to any job and he told Pranath Maharaj that, oh, you should be monitor and try to control all the boys. Boys were very happy that our Gurudev is going outside, so they were in a mood to play. But Pranath Maharaj told that, oh, come on, I will tell something to you. You remember? You? So the um, school friends of Prahlad, they were out playing and they called Prahlad and said, oh Prahlad, come and play. But um, Prahlad, he was not interested in playing. And he said, actually, I have something to tell you. I want to speak from my heart. So very sweetly, he asked, if you can just give me a few minutes, I'd like to explain something. And they said, oh, Prahlad, what is this? What is it that you want to say? So then Prahlad, he explained, Kumara matarat prapyo, dhamam bhavataiha, dulabam mansam janma, karapi abhuvamakadam. That now we're very young. We're all about five years old. But one who's actually intelligent, Kumaram Atarat Pragyo, that right from the very youth, that Dhamam Bhagavatamiha, that they will engage in Bhagavatam, in worshiping the Supreme Lord. Why? Because Dulabam Manusam Janma, that this human birth, it's very, very rare. Tadapi Adruva Matadam, that it is um, rare and it is very temporary. So then his friends, they said, Oh Prahlad, this sounds good, but when we get older, then we can worship God. But right now, while we're young, we have our youth, let's go out and play. So then Prahlad, he explained to them, he said, you have this mentality now, but one who's intelligent, they'll understand that if you want to do something, if you plan to do something in the future, then better you do it today. And if you're thinking to do something today, then better you do it now, especially when it comes to take it to Bhagavad Dhamma. So if one is feeling inspired somehow to take to um, Krishna consciousness, then rather than putting it off for tomorrow or later on, he's saying, not, no, do it now. So they were saying, no, Prahlad, when we're older, we'll do. Then Prahlad, he explained to them. He said that in life, one may live for 100 years, but even if one lives for 100 years, then 12 hours of the day, one spends that sleeping. So then 50 years, that's lost immediately. You have another 50 years left. 
And then in the other 50, in, when one is from age 18 to 100, then in those 20 years, especially if one is engaged in sense gratification, we know when, um, for instance, if some of us, we may have gone selling paintings in old folks' homes. And these old people from 80 to 100, they don't even reach 100, from 60 to 80. Then they're so, they're senile. From sense gratification, they've lost everything. So Pallad is saying from 80 to 100, then one is more or less senile and one will not be able to, one will not have any capacity to take in any um, spiritual knowledge. So another 20 years is lost, leaving 30 years. And then in the youth, um, one is going to school, one loses another 20 years or so going to school, and that leaves 10 years. And in very small childhood from birth to 10 years of age, then one is practically doing nothing. So he's saying that you may plan that in the future I'll take to Bhagavad Dharma, but he's saying that this is just um, a trick of the material energy. That one who thinks like that is a fool, is a mudha. So he said better one should immediately take to Bhagavad Dharma. So then the um, boys and girls, they were asking, um, they asked Pallad, but um, we don't know. Um, how to take to Bhagavad Dharma, what to do, um, how to chant. And then Pallad, he, he said, yes, I can teach you. And then he started kirtan. Uh, he, they asked also, all the boys, that if in our youth, we will not collect money, and the things for, um, uh, to, to maintaining our life, then in old age we'll have to suffer so much. So what should I we do? Yo 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 yo. Now they came. What he replied? <coughs> he said that. What he would? <coughs> he said that. <coughs> We see that in life, even though nobody wants distress, nobody wants disease, nobody wants <coughs> calamity, no one endeavors for these things, yet they are coming automatically as a result of our past activities. So similarly, happiness in this world and facility for enjoyment it will also come automatically as a result of our past activities. How they will come? And why they will come? to the reaction of our past yes. activities. Good and bad activities. If you have done so many bad things, then the result of that will come in suffering. You know, one must die. One must be old. So many rocks and so many things, so many that someday you can be very poor, begging here and there, and someday you can be a king. So if you have done good, then the good attack, the result of the good activities will surely will come and you will be bound to face them. If sufferings are going, coming without invitation, so all good things will come. So don't be afraid of maintaining your life. Pradhar, from where you learnt all these things? You are always with us in school and here, playing there, from birth we know you, from where you learnt all these things? Where is Prempreyajan? Oh, that should be there. Then, do you remember what he told? No, I mean. Don't remember, but so go on, go on. Respect. I, you are not so old, like uh, the sitting on the chair. <laughs> 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 this will be very bold. Pallad Maharaj explained that uh, when he was born in the womb of his mother, that because he was the son of Hiranyakashipu. And Hiranyakashipu was very much uh, terrorizing the demigods. And very, 
Mm. So he explained that he was kidnapped uh, by the demigods, and then Narada Muni came and he explained it because they wanted to kill the, the child in the womb. But Narada Indra. Indra. In, Indra wanted to, because uh, he was the son of Hiranyakashipu, uh -huh. and they and thought he that he would grow to be a very great king. More demon. dangerous than Hiranyakashipu. Yes. So in boyhood. So then Narada Muni came, and he explained to them, no, actually there is a very great devotee in this womb, so you should not kill him. And you cannot kill. You cannot kill. So he took him to his own ashram. He took the mother to his own ashram, and there, for many thousands of years, 60,000 years, he kept the mother there, and he was narrating uh, Srimad Bhagavatam. All the Ved, Upanishad, Shastra, all these scriptures, Vedanta, Upanishad, also Srimad Bhagavat, Mahabharat, Ramayana, everything. And he became expert being in the womb. But his mother, forget So, you should be, uh, you follow me, and now we'll give up all the bad activities. You should not think that we are the sons of demons. You should try to give up wine, lust, killing animals, and all these things bad. And we should try to do kirtan um, assembling here. Now they began to do kirtan. Namami Nanda Nanda Namami Nanda Nanda Namami Nanda Nanda Namami Nanda Nanda Namami Nanda
my dear boys and friends, we should always do kirtan. And very, very powerful kirtan is this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. I will see that who is going to save you. Who will save you? Very lightly. Who is the strongest in you? He is saving the whole world. He is everywhere. In all atoms. So I am not seeing. Oh, you are so much qualified to see everywhere. Then he should come out of this pillar. I am blocking this pillar and telling this hey, by his this like so, and it was broken. And very big song, tremendous song. And he saw that not man, not lion, animal like this, very ferocious, very powerful. At once he took picked up. Like Garud, Garud is? Takes up and is very weak snake. Like any elephant, mad elephant, picks up a lotus flower and smash. He wanted to smash the elephant. He picked up the elephant in his lap. At that time, no night, no day, no upside, not lower. Not in the house, not out of house, not any any month, not in a year, leap year that was in the evening, and he not either here not beaten, and in the on the door, and he sat there and picked up in his and at once and took his all naughty food. Huh? Intestine. And become reddish and very fear. Fire began to come from his ass. All demigods and all began to run quickly here. And Brahma and Shankar and Devi, Lakshmi Devi also were here. But Prahlad had no fear. All requested his, this Prahlad Maharaj. At once he is to go and classify him. Otherwise, he'll destroy a whole world. He at once is playing like balls and very sweetly. And he came and, and jumped in his lap. And uh, in spite of being so angry, he began to weep. Missing the way. I have made so much beer. You will have to suffer so much. Your father has given so much problem for you. So I want that I should give any benediction. He told that I am not a son of businessman, that taking and giving always. I have not served his father. Then he told, again, then he told that, oh mother, my father should be liberated. Oh Krishna told, um, listen to them, oh he has been liberated. Already then, those who are very like Kanishth Vaishnava, following very strictly the principles and chanting something Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, they will be liberated to seven 
any related father mother. And those for Madhama Dikari, their father mother for 40. And those for Uttam, their father mother 21 days, generation will be 50 years. So Pralad, then Prahlad Maharaj told that I want to take all the offenses, all the <laughs> sufferings that they have done. All the living entities, I will take all their things and they should be liberated and I will be in this world always suffering, suffering. Then he told that you will have not to suffer. Those will chant, remember Krishna and hearing the first time talk, please. So you should have a strong fighting wish. Now you should come in tent. Nibhita tarasai rupa giya mana Baur sadhatsro trimano bhirama Kaha uttam sloka gunanu badat Virajyet bina pasogna Parikshit Maharaj, hearing about seven, seven days, um, five days, he has ordered. He has never wanted, he was never wanting uh, a glass of water, no sleep, nothing, always hearing and hearing. All they are like this. Always hearing. Shukde Goswami. Do you want to take water? I don't require. Shukde Goswami. If you want water, anything, food, fruits, anything, milk? No. I don't want And drink it your nectar of Haridata. I don't have time. I don't want minute, rest in minute time. Especially if any realized soul is there. He detached from worldly all kinds of <coughs> desires and desires. Desire means? Enjoyment. And totally observed in Hari Krishna. Always chanting, remember. And he has some realization. And he can. Uh, Remove all kinds of dogs. <coughs> he is like a very good wise there. Medical doctor. Or is doctor. His medicine is Abhyartha. Abhyartha? Without hell. Never be become. So, we should hear Katha from him. This is the medical medicine for worldly persons. Being always happiness. Those who are not hearing all these three five stunts of Krishna, they will lose so much. They are like a hunter, hunting himself, killing himself and others also. Those who are taking the place and the axe anyhow. If they are not killing, but taking from the market, they are also killers. Those who are making sheds and all these things for their killing animals and doing all nonsense, they are also hunters. Those who are not hearing, they are more hunters. They are killing themselves and others also. So anyone who wants to enjoy this world, those who are Vishayi, those who are Nibhita Tarshayi, they have no desire to test this world. Those who are bhakta, all should hear Srimad Bhagavatam. This is a mm, medicine. That man is abhyartha. Infallible. So we should hear. Then he told, I want to know now. You have told so many things. So I want to ask you, but there was Sankarshan. And he came in the home of Rohini, his son. How he became the son of Devaki? 
how to become. He, our Pali, he never came in the womb of devotee, but he is told as Amju Karanti. He never came in the womb of devotee. So how outwardly we know that he is the Rohanish Nandan. But why because? And uh, why Krishna giving of his father and father home at Mathura? He went to Braja. And what activities he done, what past and he did there. And again why he came to Mathura? And Mathura, how many Yes, she was there, and what he did there, and after that, why he went to Dwarka, and he <coughs> married so many, so many, how many wives he married there, and how he was doing there, <coughs> and anything else he had played and done past times, which I request you to explain. Then Sukadeva Goswami became so happy. And he told to Parikshit Maharaj that Vasudeva Katha Prasna Pursan Strin Punatihi Bhaktaram Prichakam Shrotram Tadpada Salam Gatha. These pastimes of Krishna are so strong medicine of this body, that they pure three things. Those who are asking question for hearing uh, Harikatha pastimes of Krishna, that you are asking. And Bhaktaram, who is answering, who is telling, is speaking the pastimes of Krishna. And thirdly, who is listening, listening. all. So it Pick, max pure to three like Ganges water coming from the feet of Bamandev by Bhagi Raghiti for his brothers are ancestors. No, no. Who are killed? Uh, ancestors. Ancestors. So he was brought by Bhagi Raghiti. Bhakti Rarthi was pure and Shankar was purified. He took Ganges on his head and then it quickly went to Sagar, to ocean and where all 60,000 of his ancestors were killed there and it was touched to come in uh, water of Ganges there. But once they went to Baikunt. So this katha is like pastimes like that. If anyone is so weak, he cannot give up their bad habits. habits. They want to taste world. But anyhow, they will hear all these pastimes very strongly. Then they will be purified certainly. And a Christian frame will come very quickly in their heart. Because he has promised in first canto, chap, first canto, those will hear the pastimes of Krishna made by or manifested by Vyas Dev. At once, if anyone has so much honor to hear, at once quickly Krishna will come and be controlled in their heart. Then Parikshit Maharaj. Hearing this, Sukadeva Goswami became so happy and began to answer them. He told that, I want to begin from here, that why Krishna descended to this world, the animal basin? This question to him. Why Krishna came? Paritranaya sadhuna vinashaya to dushkita dharma sansthapanarthaya sambhuan Krishna has promised to whom? To Arjuna. To son, <coughs> lakhs and lakhs years before, he has promised that in all yuga, every yuga, in Brahma days, there are so many manvantas, 14 manvantas. 
and in one manvantar there are 71 yugs so all in manvantar one time and in all yugas in ekhatar 71 times i come to this world in brahma one day to establish yugadharma to protect sadhu devotees and to Demons, control demons, <coughs> and to for by doing this establish, establish dharma. What dharma? <coughs> Banasam dharma. What dharma? Moreover, Sanatam dharma. What is Sanatam dharma? That I am not this body. I am so part and parcel of Supreme God. I am eternal servant. All are eternal servant of Krishna. Now we have forgot. So in Gita he has told, Bansa se jirnani jatha vihaya Navani grhananti naro para Tatha sarirani jinnyani Nyan sanjami nami Nainyang chidanti nainyang Hati Pavaka, Nai Chaitanya, Naso Siyatma, like this. That we are part and parcel of Himself, God Him. And we are eternal servant. Not only human body, not only one of India, whole world, not one world, lakhs and lakhs, we cannot count. Everywhere. Creepers, trees, animals, ants, insects, all are part and parcel of the body. We have forgotten anyhow. So for this to establish this truth, transcendental truth, what has been told in Gita? What has been told in Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, 11th and 12th canto? Uddhav Sandesh. In Vedas, uh, Upanishadas, in Gita, Gita Upanishad. So establish this Yugadharma. Especially in Brahma one day, in, in one Yuga, there are four Yugas, Satya, Treta, Dvapar and Kali. In all Yugas, there are a special, a special Yugadharma. In Satyu, meditating, not taking anything. Anyone sitting like this, like Balmiki, more than that, 80,000 years sitting like this. <laughs> not taking water, air, Dhu, only six months, in six months, only four months, not took water and air. And he, Balmiki, for more than 80 years never took air, no water, nothing. And his body became like soil. Insects took up, took, ate all his body. Also, his heart did. Bone was there, very little, little, all has gone. And that life was in that very And after that, Brahma came and sprinkled water and he became God. So at that time, you, human used to be of lakhs and lakhs years that age. At that time, <coughs> water was pure, air was pure, mind was so pure, they can come in trance. But in Treta they used to do Jagya, fire sacrifices. In Dapar Yuga, they cannot do all, they could not do all these things. Then, then worshipping God by Tantra, Tantra Mane, by Archan, by doing this, doing this making so much big, big temples. At that time, Jagannath temple was done. Tremendam temple was done. In Patrika, Sharm was done. 
growing things and getting the effort. In Kalijos, Muslim came, so many will come and they will destroy all these things. So Kaliyu, Pat Dharma, Valli Hari Nam Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Rama. So Krishna came to protect from Kansha, Jarasandha, Dantabakra, Durjodhan, they were all demons. And they were forgetting, and they were always drinking, doing all nonsense that world's now is going to do, and they are doing, and they think that, oh, we are very intelligent. These are these minds. We will control both, but they were smashed by Krishna. And what this religion of Atma Dharma, Atma Dharma, Pranasam Dharma, I just got this. But Krishna never comes. Only for this. Yuga Dharma can come, come, come and establish these things. Then why Krishna came? Hmm? <laughs> to <coughs> Dharma Samstapan, what that Dharma was? Hmm? Not Pranasam Dharma, not Yuga Dharma, not Manvanta Dharma, not Atma Dharma. Because so many had established before that. Ramachandra established all these things. But why Krishna came? Then what he has told to Narada Rishi? And Narada Rishi has told to Vyasa. What? Janama Dasya Jataha. In first canto, first slogan. Janama Dasya Jataha. Janama Adi Rasha. From where? Adi Rash Manishingar Rash. Braja Rash came. To establish this very thing. This was only the job of Krishna. Nothing else. Other deeds? <coughs> Who killed uh, um, Kansha? Mahavishnu. Who killed? Uh, no, who fought the Mahabharata Yuddha? Mahavishnu. It was his duty. Krishna never lips Vrindavan. Always making their devotees happy. Dwarkadhish Krishna and Mathuresh Krishna can be worshipped by devotees. But Brajesh Krishna only serving his devotees, not by served, always playing with the uh, Brajavasi males and females. Sometimes bringing the shoes of his father. Sometimes doing this and that. Stalling, uh, stealing brother. Sometimes weeping like this. Mother, don't beat me. I am what? I'm innocent and I'm taking oath that I will never do like this. Uh, you know the relations of Krishna and gopis. No? We think that Krishna is also more superior than gopis. Oh, it is right. But who mm, Krishna called gopis to dance or gopis came automatically and they dance with Krishna? Understand what my question? Krishna was unhappy. He was lacking something. Gopis never lacking anything. So they were very happy in their houses everywhere, chanting, remembering. But Krishna was feeling some lack missing. He is Osan of Rush. But Osan was there, Rush was dried. So he wanted to take bath in Ocean of Rush. And that is why on full moon he played on flute. Oh Rade, oh Lalite Vishakhe, you should come and save me. That is all gopis. In Rash, it seems from outside that gopis are searching Krishna, where is Krishna, where? and they became mad. <coughs> but the deep, if you will go, you will see that not that thing. What that thing? That 
Krishna is telling so much, feeling so much separation, and he is sitting in Imlitala in Vrindavan. And he became, from black yellow he became, oh, thinking what? Where is Radha? Where is Radha? Where is Radha? Where is Radha? Hmm? So always Krishna searching, decorating, following the fruits and of gopis. Sometimes getting his arms on the neck of gopis. Oh, save me. Why save me? Krishna wants love and affection. He does not want to hear the <coughs> way and his power and stuti of Brahma and all others. He wants to hear that any gopi is chastising him. Right. And again and again he will come. Gopis are chastising that why you have come to still or makkhan. So, Krishna is always serving gopis all. To vinodaya ki? Man bhakta vinodaya. Karo me vividhati. Krishna comes, descends, the supreme personality of Godhead. Only the reason is that he wants to satisfy, he wants to serve, he wants to make happy all his devotees of Vrindavan. So this was the main reason. And then after this, he take a Srimad Mahalakam. We will begin tomorrow. Go, Prema. Oh, Rama, so quickly. Uh, you should begin, and they should. Okay, we, tonight we have a, a drama performed by Mahi Bharta and his family and other members of New Braj community on Sri Vas Pandit. So thank you very much. Without any further, here they are. Thank you. Maharaj, great Vaishnavas, ladies and gentlemen, and all assembled devotees, please welcome to your new Braj's evening today. Um, the title of the play is called The, um, um, the Story of Sri Divas Thakur. <clears throat> For one full year, in the evening twilight, within the privacy of Sri Vas Pandit's courtyard, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu engaged in Hari Kirtan with the most advanced devotees in Navadvi. Becoming madly intoxicated with ecstatic love, the assembled devotees completely forgot themselves and incessantly began to dance and chant wildly, completely surrounding the Pachatapa. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 